So the psalm I was given to talk about is Psalm 94. And I remember being given this psalm actually to write with Ann Voskamp and Trillia Newbell. And all three of us sat with this psalm for a good bit of time before we started writing. And I think all three of us really kind of struggled with what it was saying. And at first we were all a little frustrated that this was the psalm we were given. There's a lot of things within the verse that I struggle with understanding or believing or fully committing to, I think. Some things that that maybe help me align um, with the good. It just starts like this, O Lord, God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, shine forth. This is the ESV version. Rise up, O judge of the earth, repay to the proud what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked exult? They pour out their arrogant words and all evil do all the evildoers boast. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage with how things have felt in the country. Even among Christians, mm -hmm. there seems to be this great divide and uh, a verse like this somehow triggers that thing in me that feels like God picks sides mm -hmm. and um, and that if you're if you align with God, he will he will take. Uh, vengeance on the people that disagree with you. But, you know, I think where we got to in our in our conversation, my conversation with Anne and Trillia was ultimately what you said earlier, JJ, which is it's just not up to us. Like we don't actually get to determine those things and and that justice belongs to God. It, mm -hmm. There there are things that we can do hopefully to make the wrongs right on the side of heaven, but ultimately um, true justice belongs to him and not to us. Yeah, it's interesting. It makes me think like a few years ago, I think it was brought to my attention that so much of the content that we consume, like movies and TV shows and books, so many of them are revenge stories. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, yeah. even if you think about like all of the blockbusters, it's like someone got wronged and they spend the whole movie trying to like kill whoever yeah. did the thing. I don't know if it's a yeah. culture or if it's just like a human thing, mm. you know? Yeah. Like if we were wronged, we want to see that person pay. That's you know? so interesting. We had this conversation at breakfast. My five-year-old son, he asked, why is violence bad? Huh. And my husband said, you know, violence is bad because typically what happens is it comes in a form of like repayment. So if, if violence happens to you and then your reaction is violence, it, bec it becomes this cycle of violence that ultimately like there is never a satisfaction yeah. if, if our position is revenge, mm -hmm. um, anger, vengeance. And, uh, and, his, and his answer was so beautiful, too. He just said, you know, we follow the way of Jesus, which is a, a way of peace. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that we get to show someone who might use violence against us that there's a different way. And it stops the violence. Mm -hmm. You know, it, mm -hmm. it stops the perpetuating of that. And um, I love that because it is the culture teaches us something very different. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, and like the lie is that's the end of the movie. It's like, yay. We got the bad yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's portrayed as they have this deep sense of relief mm -hmm. and that justice was served and now they can be at peace but that is not, not human reality yeah. like you don't get revenge and then all of a sudden feel mm -hmm. like everything's fine there i don't think there is closure it's yeah. it's um i think it's an illusion it's interesting because i recently someone told me what a nation dreams about they become mm -hmm. and so to me for those of us who want to walk in this Jesus way, mm -hmm. you know, part of our prayer um, and what we find in the Psalms is like, Lord, maybe give me a vision for, like, give me a different dream because mm -hmm. we don't want the revenge dream. Mm -hmm. Like, we want the one um, that you would have for us and trust that it's better, mm -hmm. you know, that it would actually be more satisfying than even that satisfying ending that mm -hmm. I think, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's restoration. Thanks.